Powering on, mic off. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the room. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, 
Anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Very well. I'll bring you a Fooper feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Prepared, which will win. Revelio. should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Should you chop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it! Again! Oh, smell! Dragon dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice- I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. 
You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Oh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. Our house ghost is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Rebellion. 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 Don't to leave that girl. Wrote her essay on shrinking solutions and thought it would be clever to shrink it before handing it in. I just wish they'd hurry up and find Can you explain why I have received a letter from a muggle claiming to be the mother of a friend of yours? Forgot to read the chat bar. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game, it's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant! Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. I'll let you have that one. Nothing to it. Yeah. 
try to beat that. Akio. Not bad. Not bad. Wait, did I win? I won! <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand! You could use the practice. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. All in the wrist. Akio! Think you were a match for me. Up here. Nothing to it. Up here. One for the ages. Hmm, tie game. At least you didn't beat me. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? Another time, perhaps. Can't say I blame you. Perhaps come back when you're a bit more prepared to beat someone of my skill. Let's play Summoner's Court. Back for more, eh? Ready then. I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant! Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Try to beat that. I've seen worse. Akio. You're not bad at this. Akio. All in the wrist. How do you do that? Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? 
I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Rebellion. 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 Incendio.
Incendio! I wish I was a metamorphagus. Not even really able to change your eye color depending on your mood. Rebellion! If you ask any Hufflepuff, they'll tell you there's a badger in their common. Rebellion. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. 
I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing wisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on Potion's class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. I don't know, Gareth. Secret passage to a cellar? Sounds like it's off-limits. Not at all. It's a perfectly legitimate secret passage. I'd use it if I could. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his later. Uh, you there! Uh, yes, you! I wonder if you might uh, come you with- You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Uh, follow me, if you will. Uh, it's not too far. Wait, how do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages. Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Revelio. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Hmm, small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. Rebellion. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Revelio. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Ah, 
here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mmm, I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. A student in Never the kitchen. Never will understand students. What could they want? Plenty of delicious. Found themselves a bit peckish, likely. You know Rebellion. how hungry growing rookies job yeah. easier. <laughs> It's some beef, but it's not rotten. I'd best keep looking. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Rabbit. Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Mick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Finky supposes not. However, Finky has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favourite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back any time you please. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Rebellion! I've gained a new appreciation for breakfast. Rebellion. Rebellion. Ah, 
Ah, you're back! No trouble, I take it? Not at all. Fienke sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Fienke. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Is the Headless Hunt dangerous? Oh, the Headless Hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving Headless Ghosts. What am I supposed to do when we meet the Hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however. In no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is, uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Offering the beef to Patrick may help me in that regard. While, of course, also helping you. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Do stay behind me. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Ramsay. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Ah, oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Oh, uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Eh, uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why? Here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut-tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine.
Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Revelion. Rebellion. Who will be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins? Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? How did you happen to become a member of the Headless Hunt? I was executed alongside some fellow mutineers. We didn't like the way things were being run in our county, so we took matters into our own hands. Treason is such a strong word, but that's what we were found guilty of. Things would have turned out much better if they'd let me be in charge. Why are you using Jackdaw's head for this game? Well, if you must know, Jackdaw's our newest member, so we like to put him through his paces. Please, could you explain the rules again? Find his head amongst the pumpkins five times. Use your wand. I cannot be more specific than that. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Begin! Revelio. Discovered already? Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide it, eh, Jackdaw? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. Revelio. I'm glad I won't be the one to clean up this mess. Oh, what fun! A student is playing! I could do that too if I had a wand and a body. It won't be long now. You won't find it. Well, good job, I suppose. But we're not through with you. Revelio. I'm glad I won't be the one to clean up this mess. <laughs> you can make this look easier than it's supposed to be. I could do that too if I had a wand. Revelio. Why did I come back here? I've never seen it played like this. How delightful. Revelio. I'm glad I won't be the one to clean up this place. Well done. Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jackdaw here, hmm? 
You've earned it! Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I found them after he ran riot through the library. Doubt he even noticed they were gone. What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains, if I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for, specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge.
Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Let me know. Rebellion. Rebellion. Let's finish this job and be done with it. Waste of time, this is. I could use a fire whistle.
Who goes there? I should you let Nora get my girl go, didn't you? You're about to wish I here and send it. Made a grave mistake. I did it. And an Ashwinder, no less. Incendio. Send it. Revelio. Rebellion.
Revelio. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself. Revelio. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? But your things will be safe with me until they're sold. Then you'll have to make do with money. A wee bairn gain a thrashing to a troll. Oh, I can't believe it. always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Lumos. Lumos. Have a look around. I'll be with you in just a minute. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. 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 Incendio. Incendio. Accio. Rebellion. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours.
Let's look at what we have, shall we? A pleasure doing business with you. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Incendio.
Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Not so tricky after all, Merlin. Rebellio. I swear I won't be wasting your time. Rebellion. And I'm grateful for the opportunity, ever so. Come on then, what you got? It's Why a... is it moving? What, I bet... Your bag, it's rigging in. What you got in there? Not ratchet. 
pleased to see Arn has his belongings back. Revelio. Ranrock and his loyalists will think twice before trying that again. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. What do you have for sale? See if there's something you need. I shall hope to do business with you again. That's been a pleasure. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Incendio! Incendio! Levioso! Akio! Levioso! Incendio! Levioso! Incendio! Accio! Incendio! Incendio! Incendio. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me.
Revelio. I should investigate. Let me know, sir. Rebellion. Rebellion. Incendio. Rebellion.
Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion.
Revelio. Rebellion. 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 Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos.
Revelio. This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Descendium. Goodness, who knew this was all down there? Revelio. A lift must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Repair her. I need to fix. That seems to have done the trick. Revelio. Revelio. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Revelio!
Ravenio. Incendio. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Levioso. Rebellio. Get past this. Levioso. <laughs> Repair. Levioso. Rebellion. <sighs> Incendio. <sighs> One more to go and I'll make it across. Repair room. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Akio. Levioso. That did the trick.
Revelio. This must be the way out. to find a way to open that gate. Repair all. Incendio. to honey jukes. Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out.
Incendio. Revelio. Hello again. Were you able? Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them. Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant! Can't wait to get started! Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer.
Revelio. Shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Revelio. Lumos. This looks intriguing. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. See one. Would be proud. They come up to. <laughs> ah, but you trusted the wrong kind, and we see you about to echo your folly. How are we supposed to offer our respects to such a choice? Hmm? <laughs> Revelio. That curiosity young people tend to nurture never ends well for them, does it? Perhaps I'll scout around Felcroft for something to poach. You can feed a beast, or it can feed you. I'm sure it'll be harder to kill a moon. <laughs> Levioso. You're the little sod that saved the bedroom. Incendio. What have you done? No. Ed! 
Your poaching days are over. Revelio. Rebellion. Incendio! <laughs> Let me also! Accio! Incendio! who released Treadwell, aren't you? That was a mistake. Incendio. I've seen you, Julius. Your, your strategy is to work on this. Accio. Incendio.
Lagioso, Accio, Incendio. What do you have in store for me this time? Revelio. Rebellion. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. Rebellio. Lumos.
Incendio. You're gonna regret coming here. Explosive incendio! You there! See you! Expulso! Potato! Oh, forever. <sighs> no one to share in my victory. Incendio! Revelio! Lived here, I wonder. Rebellion. Incendio. Levioso. Incendio. Incendio.
hier. Repairer. Incendio. Accio. Take up her biology if it didn't involve so much dumb.
Revelio. Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Thank you. 